I'm back with another car news video. Yesterday, Aston Martin unveiled a new supercar called the Victor. I read about this car over on Motor Trend, and other car publications so this auto blog and auto car have also picked up on this car. This car in particular is a one-off, I mean there's only one in existence. This car was developed by Aston Martin's Q customization shop, which is obviously a James Bond reference. Motor Trend said this car is built on the chassis of the 177, with some elements of the Vulcan. More on the Vulcan later. This car was inspired by the old Aston Martin V8 from the 70s, only modernized to be faster, safer, more powerful, and more luxurious than the old timer. The engine has a 7.3 liter V12 that's derived from the 177. However, this one was modified by Cosworth to produce 836 horsepower and 606 pound feet of torque. This means that the car has, uh, has 86 more horsepower and 53 more pound feet of torque than the 177. The transmission is the 6 speed manual in Percy Graziano. This new transmission is equipped with tw uh, twin coolers so I can take the heat generated by the engine along with the motorsport clutch so I can handle the amount of torque this engine puts out. This car is also equipped with 6 piston Brembo brakes that have carbon ceramic rotors. Like a lot of modern supercars, the tires are made by Michelin. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything on the car's 0 to 60 time or its top speed. I also couldn't find anything on the weight of this car. However, I have read that the body has carbon fiber, and the chassis has a carbon fiber monocoque. Uh, the interior has a lot of exposed carbon fiber, along with anodized aluminum, polished titanium, as well as leather and cashmere. The price of the car hasn't been revealed either, but we all know that it's really expensive. However, the drive claims that the headlights alone are $2.7 million, which is outrageous. Now on to the name. I originally speculated that Aston Martin named this, this car after the Handley Page Victor, which was one of the famous V-bombers that were used by the Royal Air Force during the Cold War. You know, some of those victors were converted to reconnaissance planes and aerial refueling tankers, but you get what I mean. The truth is that the car is named after Victor Gauntlet. Now on to the Vulcan. I mentioned this car earlier. It's a supercar that Aston Martin made between 2015 and 2016, and only 24 were ever built. Unlike the Victor, which is actually street legal, the Vulcan is for track use only. I read that the Vulcans, inboard springs, and dampers were later transferred over to the Victor. I believe Aston Martin named this car after the Avril Vulcan, which is my favorite of the V-Bombers. All you have to do now is make a car sharing the same name as the Victor's Valiant. If they do that, then they will have made cars sharing the same names as all three of the V-Bombers. Don't be surprised if they actually go through with this. Overall, I really like the... The Aston Martin Victor. Hell, I think it's even more awesome than the Vulcan. No, I'll probably never get to see the, the Victor up close and personal since it's a one off, but I can at least talk about it. Now, it's the part where I question you. What do you think of the new Aston Martin Victor? Do you think they should have made more than just one? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my. I'm going to leave my source in the description so you can read more about the Victor. Now, if you like the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video.